Today we add Lieutenant Michael Murphy's name to the list of recipients who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Deep in the mountains of Afghanistan, this brave officer gave his life in defense of his fellow Navy SEALs. Michael also earned the respect of his men. They remember a wise, cracking friend who went by Mikey or Murph. They remember a patriot who wore a New York City firehouse patch on his uniform in honor of the heroes of 9-11. And they remember an officer who respected their opinions and led them with an understated yet unmistakable sense of command. Together, Michael and his fellow SEALs deployed multiple times around the world in the war against the extremists and radicals. While their missions were often carried out in secrecy, their love of country and devotion to each other was always clear. While conducting surveillance on a mountain ridge in Afghanistan, he and three fellow SEALs were surrounded by a much larger enemy force. Their only escape was down the side of a mountain, and the SEALs launched a valiant counterattack while cascading from cliff to cliff. As the enemy closed in, Michael recognized that the survival of his men depended on calling back to the base for reinforcements. With complete disregard for his own life, he moved into a clearing where his phone would get reception. He made the call, and Michael then fell under heavy fire. Yet his grace and upbringing never deserted him. Though severely wounded, he said thank you before hanging up and returned to the fight before losing his life. Unfortunately, the helicopter carrying the reinforcements never reached the scene. It crashed after being struck by a rocket-propelled grenade. And in the end, more Americans died in Afghanistan on June 28, 2005 than on any other day since the beginning of Operation Enduring Freedom. Mikey was the best officer I ever knew, an iron-souled warrior of colossal and almost unbelievable courage in the face of the enemy. Our nation is blessed to have volunteers like Michael who risk their lives for our freedom. 